Well, my background comes from the classic microelectronic um, uh, study, so where you work with silicon wafers, very rigid material, so because they're made hard and rigid, you can't deform them. So flexible electronic, on the other hand, is electronic system that are made onto very compliant substrate, so like plastic or even fin foil metal. Um, so that's flexible. And then if you want to add an extra um, level of deformation, you can do elastic uh, substrate like rubber. So you can do completely stretchable electronics, so where you can pull, stretch, relax, and the overall system remains fully functional. Well, there's lots of application now where we want to put electronics on something that is not flat. Um, if you think about rollable displays, for example, where you want to have your display as a pen, you just pull it out and then you can surf the web. Or for medical application, if um, you want to do prosthesis, like prosthesis around the eye bulb, um, you need to have an electronic surface that will shape the, uh, the sphere of the eye. Or if you want to do more complicated system like artificial skin, where if you look at your skin when you're moving, you, your skin is stretching back and forth. And so if you want to do something active that will mimic your own skin, then it has to behave similarly. So these are a sort of application, um, uh, both in the biomedical um, um, area, but also in, in the media industry, you could find an application for displays that you can shape everywhere onto balloons or that sort of things. Well, flexible electronics is definitely already um, in the industry business. So there's lots of consortium, especially in the United States, where they're seriously thinking and moving towards industrialization of flexible displays. In terms of stretchable, so we should see them in the coming years. Um, now, in terms of stretchable electronics, where you, 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 you add this extra uh, dimension where you, you can stretch and relax the, the devices, this is much more long term. What drives me is to uh, do um, smart bio uh, electronic interfaces and I'm particularly keen into uh, looking at making a, an artificial skin that will mimic our own skin but that would also be connected to the nervous system. So people who need a graft for example or people who, who have lost a limb uh, could then wear this prosthetic skin around a prosthesis and that will give them feed, sensory feedback just as if it was their own skin. So that's really one application that I would really like to see um, um, achieved. So I'm, I'm now looking at pursuing stretchable electronics for, uh, for sensitive skin, but I'm also looking at how to make neuroprosthesis to that so that we can interface the electronic skin with the nervous system.